If you have ethnic skin like me, you know how easy it is to get dark spots and discoloration. You might have even turned to skincare products that can help lighten those dark spots. Hi, my name is Ayana, and I want to talk to you about a common skincare ingredient that is used in skin lightening products called hydroquinone. Have you heard of it? Isn't it a skin lightening agent? I don't think I've ever heard of that word before. Uh, I don't know. I believe maybe it's something that benefits our skin. Maybe kind of something that makes it more smooth. Oh yeah, people also use it to whiten their skin if they want to turn a lighter shade or if they want to go white, right? Hydroquinone is basically a depigmentating agent. Um, it's used to lion dark spots or any hyperpigmentation or any discoloration that people of ethnic skin would normally have. And they have these issues because of acne or because of any disruption to the skin. That's right, hydroquinone is an FDA approved skin lightening agent for dark spots that can be found in skincare products like Clarescence Cosmetics. However, it has come to my attention that people have been using hydroquinone in an unsafe, unadvised, highly concentrated ways to lighten their full faces and bodies. It's even become a trend to have lighter skin, which is something we see all over the media in TV, magazines, and commercials. It's no surprise that when I searched online forums, I found women looking for permanent solutions to find lighter skin. For example, this woman wrote, is there anything permanent? I'm a very dark-skinned African-American woman and have used almost every over-the-counter lightening cream and soap, and nothing brings me close to my desired complexion. I don't want to have light skin, just lighter, and I know how I want to look, but don't know what would work for my pigment or if anything works at all. I hope it is something permanent as well because I don't want to go through this for the rest of my life. Some women even want to have lighter skin, just like Beyonce. One lady wrote, I want to be Beyonce complexion. What can I use? Help. I recently sat down with this sociology professor at the University of California, Riverside, to discuss why this trend is so common and how it originated. Plus, of course, we live in a racist society that glorifies whiteness, right, mm -hmm. and denigrates um, darker skin. So a lot of times there is what I refer to as internalized oppression around skin tone and norms of beauty um, that put more emphasis or more value on lighter skin tone. So there's often a perception that, that people will garner greater respect, greater value um, if they have lighter skin, um, that they will be seen as more beautiful. Um, so this, unfortunately, this white racism contributes to uh, this phenomenon of um, not only African Americans, but um, Asian Americans and Latinos uh, desiring lighter, uh, many of them desiring lighter skin tone. Um, and this, of course, flies in the face of, if you think of the Civil Rights Movement, Malcolm X, the whole Black is Beautiful movement of the 1960s. And I recall Malcolm X saying, you know, who taught you to hate the color of your skin, the thickness of your lips, the texture of your hair? Um, and he pointed out that it was uh, white racism that caused this kind of internalized oppression. I spoke with another darker skinned woman who warned me about overusing skin lightening products and why she will never use them on herself. The reason why I don't use hydroquinone is um, because I did watch like my sister, she used to always put these skin products in order to lighten parts of her skin, but then she just started lighting her, her all, like, all of her skin just to match it and then she just got lighter then her skin started breaking out and it was just too much. So I don't know if it was overuse of it or whatever the case is, but after seeing her I was just like, I'm good, I'll go the natural route. So we already know that there's this stigma associated with using hydroquinone. Do you know where that might have started or why there's such a fear of using the ingredient? I think that the stigma really comes from heavy abuse of products with hydroquinone. People using products with levels that are extremely high, 6%, 10% hydroquinone use. And that obviously created that fear of bleaching. Uh, that's, a, that's a word that I'm really familiar with in this business. I hate that word, however, but it is something that a lot of people talk about. And secondly, I just think it's a lack of education, honestly. Um, if you know what hydroquinone is, and if you know what hydroquinone is for, there really shouldn't be a stigma, there really shouldn't be a fear. 
I'm a dark skinned black woman and I use hydroquinone. I use it as a treatment for my dark spots or hyperpigmentation. As you can see, I'm not bleached, I don't look white. Finally, experience clear, blemish-free skin with Clear Essence's Skin Beautifying Milk and Medicated Fade Cream, formulated for people of color. I think it's really important for consumers to know exactly where their products are being manufactured. For example, Clear Essence is manufactured here in the United States, so you are ensured that we are following FDA regulation and the regulations of the country. Products that are manufactured elsewhere, you're not really sure of what's in those products. Number two is really knowing um, the ingredients that are in those products. I know that it's really trendy right now to state that your product is hydroquinone free, but okay, if it's hydroquinone free and you're not seeing any of those depigmentating agents like um, licorice or vitamin C, then what exactly is making the skin lightening effect from that product? Although chemicals like hydroquinone can be abused, it is approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and can be used to safely treat dark spots. The FDA cited a study demonstrating that the equivalent of a daily dose of legally prescribed 4% or marketed over-the-counter topical 2% hydroquinone cream could realistically be as safe as a day of ingesting typical amounts of food items such as coffee, pears, berries, tea, and wheat bread. Hydroquinone is actually a very popular ingredient. You see it in lots of products that are manufactured here and they're manufactured all over the world. It's still the most effective ingredient in terms of um, treating skincare disorders such as hyperpigmentation and discoloration. So we know that hydroquinone has been banned in places like South Africa and Europe. Why is that? I honestly think it's, you know, the abuse that we've mentioned, and it's literally a lack of regulation. I want to be clear, however, just because we state that it's banned doesn't necessarily mean you can't get the product in South Africa or anywhere in Europe. It just means that you would have to get a prescription to get the product. So do you have any tips about using products with hydroquinone? So recommendations I would give would be to definitely wash your hands before and after application. Make sure the area that you're gonna use it on is clean. Don't use it on irritated skin. And make sure that you wear sunscreen and also sun protective clothing when you use it. And what are some side effects associated with the use of hydroquinone? That's a really good question. I think it's important for consumers to know that hydroquinone does make your skin a little bit sensitive to the sun. So it's really important to use uh, sunscreen. And you can also experience a little bit of dryness when using hydroquinone. So it's also really important to keep your skin moisturized uh, while using the product. If you're still hesitant about using hydroquinone products, Clear Essence have products that are also hydroquinone free. We actually use quite a few uh, different depigmentating agents. We use licorice. We use vitamin C. We also use um, AHA, which is known as alpha hydroxy acid. So hydroquinone is not the only agent that we use, but uh, it is the most effective and it's the fastest. So if you're trying to see results in a quick amount of time, then hydroquinone would be the best agent to use. We want to hear from you. Join the conversation. Write us a comment and use hashtag clear essence and hashtag dark is beautiful and let us know about your skin lightening experience.